let's see this question which is a slight modification for the previous question we here we need to construct a minimal finite automata that accepts binary strings whose integer equivalent is congruent to 2 mod 3 right here the alphabet is zeros and ones right by since the each string is of binary format the alphabet will be 0 and 1 and the integer equivalent of each string is congruent to 2 mod 3 it means when we divide the integer equivalent of w let's say w is our string over zeros and ones the when we divide the integer equivalent of w by 3 it should leave a remainder 2 right such a string will be in our language so what are all the strings i mean what are all the numbers which leave a remainder 2 when we divide by 3 they are 2 5 8 11 and so on right so the corresponding binary strings for each of these numbers are 10 101 for 8 it is 1000 for 11 it is 1011 and so on right so since we have we are dividing by 3 we are dividing each number by 3 we have three possible reminders right it can be either 0 or 1 or 2 right and now we, we are just concerned about the reminder 2 right so i will be having three states q0 q1 q2 where q0 is corresponds to the strings whose integer equivalent when divided by 3 leaves a remainder 0 q1 leaves a remainder 1 q2 leaves a remainder 2 right these are our three states which are in our dfa and q0 is our initial state right so what are all the numbers which leave remainder 0 when we divide by 3 they are 0 3 6 9 right and so on right so the corresponding binary string is 0 this for this for 3 it is 1 1 for 6 it is 1 1 0 for 9 it is 1 0 0 1 and so on right similarly what are all the numbers which are which leave a remainder 1 when divisible by 3 they are 1 4 7 10 and so on right the corresponding binary strings are 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 and so on similarly the numbers which are which leave a remainder 2 when divis when when divided by 3 are 2 5 8 11 and so on right so this is this is 10 0, this is 101 0, this is 1000 0, 0, 0, this is 1011 0, 1, and so on right so all these numbers are our are in our language all these strings are in our language so when i reach q2 i should accept this right so q2 will be our final state let's let's draw all the transitions for each of these states over zeros and ones so on seeing zero no matter how many zeros i see when divided by 3 i will it will leave a remainder 0 right so no matter how many zeros i see i will be in q0 itself right if i see 1 at q0 i will go to q1 because it leaves a remainder 1 right q1 when divided by 3 it leaves a remainder 1 so so we go to q1 now q0 is complete from q1 
how do i how did i reach q1 on seeing one right so from q1 if i see a zero so the integer equivalent of this binary string is 2 right when we divide 2 by 3 it leaves a reminder 2 so on seeing 0 from q1 i will go to q0 right now if i see 1 at q1 right if i see 1 at q1 this is a binary string and what is the integer equivalent of 1 1 it is 3 right so when we divide 3 by 3 it leaves a reminder 0 so on seeing 1 from q1 i will go to q0 right now q1 is done now coming to q2 how did we reach q2 on seeing 1 0 right if i see 0 at q2 this equal this is equivalent to 4 right 4 when divisible by 3 it leaves a reminder 1 so on seeing 0 i will go to q q1 from q2 what if i see 1 at q2 1 at q2 so the integer equivalent of 101 is 5 when divided by 3 it leaves a reminder 2 so since the reminder is 2 i will be in q2 itself on seeing 1 right now i can see q0 q1 q2 all these three states are complete all these states have transitions over zeros and ones so this is our dfa right any you can check any string which is in the language will be accepted by th by this dfa any string which is not in this language will not be accepted by the dfa now let me draw the transition table for the corresponding transition diagram so every finite automata can be represented by two ways either it can be transition diagram which we have already drawn and it can also be represented with transition state transition table state transition table so let me draw the state transition table for the corresponding dfa so the state transition function delta will have 0 and 1 these are the symbols in our input alphabet under our columns and these rows will be our states q0 is our initial state and q2 is our final state right so what are the transitions on 0 from q0 we go to q0 itself right from q0 on seeing 1 we go to q1 from q1 on seeing 0 we go to q2 from q1 on seeing 1 we go to q0 from q2 on seeing 1 on seeing 0 we go to q1 from q2 on seeing 1 we go to q2 right this is our transition table corresponding to the dfa which we have drawn for this type of questions where we are asked to find the minimal finite automata that accepts binary strings whose integer equivalent is congruent to some value right here it is 2 mod 3 we may be asked to find integer con integer equivalent is congruent to 2 mod 4 or any other number so for this type of questions we have a shortcut to draw the dfa so the shortcut is we start with the any sta state transition table and we try to draw the dfa from state transition table right so in the state transition table these are the the columns will be the input symbols since we have 0 and 1 in our alphabet we have those as our columns and these rows are the states how do you know the number of states the number of states is equal to this number right so here we were asked to divide the integer equivalent with 3 
so we had three states right we had q0 q1 q2 corresponding to the remainders which when we divide a number with 3 right now how do you fill the tra state transition table this how do you fill this entries you start with q0 from the first input symbol and go on to the next input symbol with the next state here we started with q0 and next state is q1 go until the last column and come back to the first column with the next symbol if it is if you end up at q1 the next symbol is q2 write it at the first sim first column and then it is like q0 q1 q2 since we are done with the states we again start with q0 and then go on to write q1 q2 like this right let me explain this shortcut with another example 